Oh. Santa. <laughs> no witnesses? Since the dawn of time, the human race has continued to create many traditions throughout its history. Whether it's celebrating the birth of American independence, shoving cake in people's face for their birthday, or even just making fun of Ohio, we as humans are still evolving to this day. And when you really think about it, we haven't made any mistakes when it comes to traditions. Okay, that doesn't count. The Purge is a fictional holiday that will never be incorporated into real life. I never liked Illinois anyway. But besides the purge, out of all of those many, many great holidays and traditions we have come up with, Christmas is for sure the best. It has food, it has family, it has gifts, and most of all, it has home alone. What else do you need in a holiday? But out of all of those great things to come out of Christmas, there is one mythical being created from it that haunts me to this day. A being so disturbing, so malicious, so evil. That he even got little Timmy scared. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. These are the words used to describe... Santa Claus! I know, I know, scary. He's chubby, round, and got a nose like a clown, but that's not the point. The point is, Santa Claus has been around for generations, breaking laws and causing havoc with no consequences. Trespassing, breaking and entering, property damage, enslavement of elves. Like, honestly, how do you even enslave an elf? They're the cutest creatures on Earth. Besides when they aren't. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Where was I? Oh yeah, Santa Claus is a creepy stalker. I've actually had these feelings for a while now, and now that I have the platform to actually express my hatred towards him, I'm gonna use it. So where should I start? Santa Claus is a stupid fat creep who needs to be put down. Okay, maybe that's too far, but the rest is true. If you clicked on this video with a different opinion than mine, first of all, why are you so dumb, 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 stupid? And second of all, you're definitely blind in my nostalgia. Because growing up as a kid, we were always taught that Santa Claus is this happy, jolly man that could cause no harm. But in reality, he's a fat slave keeping lunatic. I mean, let's just go over a few of his heinous crimes committed in the last few thousand years. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this first crime is more of a theory than a crime, but who cares? Santa Claus definitely kidnapped his elves and is now keeping them hostage. Like, what type of creature slash people do you know that are willing to work day and night and still get paid nothing in return? Like, I don't know if Santa Claus got them on a free trial or something, but that wouldn't cut it for me. And I know, I know, they technically do get paid about the happiness of the children across the world, but that does not count as payment. But I'm not about to waste my breath on this crime or theory, whatever you want to call it. I'll just let the theorists on TikTok handle it. How to ask a co-worker out without getting in trouble? Now, I think Santa Claus thought he was slick when it comes to this crime. Magically going through the chimney instead of the door, that doesn't matter, you're still breaking into my house. How do you know I didn't just get left home alone while my family is celebrating in Paris, so I decided to walk around the house naked? And let's not forget just to add more time to your sentence, Santa, you're also a robber. Eating kids' cookies that they obviously left out while watching Coco Melon will not slide. And yes, Santa, I want my cookies back. Okay, so I named kidnapping, enslavement, breaking and entering, and even robbery, so what am I missing now? Oh yeah, murder! I don't know if you guys have seen this movie from back in the day that used to always come on Disney Channel called The Santa Claus. It was basically about this boring average man with no life purpose becoming the new Santa Claus. By killing him! I don't know what Disney was thinking when they made this movie. Killing the OG Santa, the man who got me my first bingo board, I love that thing! After watching this movie, I started to hate every variation of Santa Claus and everyone he associated with. Wait, wait, let me slow my roll, not everyone. Mrs. Claus is still my top celebrity crush, so she's good in my book, but everyone else sucks! And I guess besides Young and I should actually show proof the new Santa is a murderer, so here you go. Okay, looking at that clip again, maybe he didn't exactly kill the OG Santa, but he still has something to do with it. I mean, if I accidentally knocked Santa Claus off a roof, I wouldn't run his pockets for any misleading item I could find. I would first steal his phone, then send Mrs. Claus' number to my phone, then I would call the police. But continuing with the movie a bit, I know you're probably thinking, Oh my god, Santa Claus is dead, I hope there are no children around to see this traumatic event. Well, well the man who took Santa's life son Charlie did see, and um, he was happy about it. Kid is a monster. He needs to be thrown in a hole and have the hole thrown away. But anyway, they end up searching Santa's suit and they find this card that reads, if something should happen to me, put on my suit, the reindeer will know what to do. So like any logical person, they back up to look at the roof. Wait, so he's not even dead. He's currently suffocating. Someone help him. I can't wait to see what it is! Hurry up, I'm so excited! Why is the camera moving so slow? 
Well, that was the letdown. I thought it was gonna be Mrs. Claus in a bathing suit or something. But there are so many more weird scenes in this movie, like when this elf Judy brings Santa some hot cocoa by herself, alone, in the middle of the night. And now I could be making this scene much weirder than it actually is, because mind you, the elves are hundreds of years old. But the new Santa doesn't initially know that, which makes this scene really disturbing. I brought you some cocoa. Oh, thanks. My own recipe. Took me 1,200 years to get it right. 1,200 years? That's right. You know, I must say, you look pretty good for your age. Thanks, but I'm seeing someone in rapping. Then the new Santa continues to be an absolute criminal. Like when he went to his ex house, which he's not supposed to do because of her restraining order. He kidnapped his son, which he wait, he kidnapped his son. That means it wasn't a theory. He literally kidnapped someone. How is he still Santa? Anyway, he kidnapped his son, which he's not supposed to do because that's illegal. Then he was taken to jail for kidnapping his son, which he's not supposed to do because that's also illegal. And the worst part is he was broken out of jail by elves, the so called cutest creatures on earth. Yeah, so apparently the North Pole has this secret agent elf squad of some sort, and they're literally trained to help Santa in situations like jail. And we find out they're led by this kid who, um, don't worry, we're the good guys. We're the good guys. I need to hear that one more time. We're the good guys. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm done with this movie. If I'm being honest, after rewatching that, I don't think that's the source of my hatred towards Santa. In fact, I think it's a much more emotional reason that dates back to my childhood. Ever since I was a kid, I've always heard these amazing stories about Santa and his mission to spread joy around the world. But sadly, I never got to experience these things like him leaving presents. It was always just my boring old family putting presents under my tree, and I see them every day. So I ask you as a viewer, why do you think Santa never visited me, huh? Why did he never visit me? I mean, I like getting toys too. I don't always want an iPhone or PlayStation or maybe even a PC. What if I want the new Barbie Dream House playset for $239.99? So like I said, why did he never visit me? Santa, are you racist? Now, let's uh, take a quick look here, shall we? Uh, you have to take a look to see if you're racist. Uh, so as you know, I have a list that tells me how naughty or nice all the children in the world have been. Uh, the question is, do you think you've been naughty or nice this year? Um, nice, but I, that wasn't the question. Well, let's take a look and find out. Oh, it's bad news, I'm afraid. Uh, it looks like you're on the naughty list. No! I don't think he likes me. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. At the time of this recording, it's about to be Christmas, so Merry Christmas, everyone, and knowing my upload schedule, Happy New Year. Like and subscribe if you're new, join my Discord, and follow me on Twitter. And as always, remember, we're the good guys. Santa, where Mrs. Claus at? I have to tell you, Mrs. Claus is the most wonderful person in the whole wide world. I bet, I However, bet. However, lately, she seems a little annoyed with me. Could you help me out by sending a beautiful picture or drawing to Mrs. Claus? No, I think she just wants me. You should break up. Keep it up.